we reckon we found the worst paint job in Australia. So we're gonna transform this old Luxie from this to this in just two days. A few weeks ago, we put the call out on social media looking for the roughest paint job in Australia because we wanted to put Raptor to the ultimate test. We also wanted to give back to one of you guys a little bit by helping you out and painting an old four-wheel drive. The more mismatched panels, fading clear coat and scratches on the vehicle, the better. And we reckon we found the perfect one. Let's check out this old Luxie. This is Jack's 2002 model Hilux. And as you can see, she needs a little bit of TLC. This is actually Jack's first four-wheel drive. He bought it when he was 18 as a young fella. And over the years, the paint's had a little bit of a rough life. As you can see, a bit of the clear coat's coming off. And also, there's a fair few scratches and a bit of rust and stuff like that. Different colour door, that's from a full driving mishap out at Lithgow. Um, Jack, I think, ran out of talent and dented the door a little bit, but put a new one on, it's a different colour, so we're going to sort that. The tray as well has got a fair bit of surface rust and stuff like that. Um, heaps of scratches, so as you can see, she needs a little bit of love, but hopefully with a Raptor coating, she'll look as good as new. We're going to transform Jack's Hilux, but along the way, we're going to step by step walk you through how to Raptor coat a full drive, tray or your bar work, including prepping the surfaces, choosing the right air compressor and spray gear and applying it properly so it looks a million bucks. And the best part is, everything we're doing to this full drive you can easily do in your shed at home. Even though we're painting a whole cab, the principles remain the same for bar work, inner guards, trays, canopies. All the equipment we're using in this video you can get when you buy the paint like the spray guns and mixing cup and your hardener. We're going to be using an air compressor when we paint the vehicle, but don't let that scare you off. Keep watching and we'll show you how to set up a basic air compressor like this to paint Raptor. First things first, we're going to give the old girl a bath to get rid of any mud and dirt. Once that's done and the paint's dry, it's time to start preparing the vehicle. Now the Hilux is all clean, it's time to get her prepped for a new coat of Raptor. Jack's actually requested a gunmetal grey colour for this Raptor coating and because Raptor can be tinted with any normal two-pack paint, we're actually going to be adding some new model Hilux gunmetal grey to the paint to give it the look Jack's after. Yes, we're doing this in a spray booth, but you can easily do this at home in your shed with a couple of mates. Painting is in the prep work and if you want your Raptor coating to last, it's best to spend plenty of time preparing the vehicle so when you get to the fun bit, painting your four-wheel drive, you don't have any dramas. We're removing all the bar work and accessories on the vehicle that will get in the way. We're also masking up and taking off the door handles and removing the indicators so we don't get any overspray on anything. Righto, as you can see, the Luxie's got most of the accessories off, the bull bar and little things like the indicators and the mirrors and uh, door handles and stuff. I'm still going on the tray. As you can see, it's a bit of a messy job. There's a fair bit of dirt under there. Uh, but while I'm doing that, the boys are gonna do what's called prepping the substrate, which basically means sanding all the areas you're gonna paint uh, so that uh, it's ready for paint. And then after that, then they can mask everything up and we should be good to go. To do this, we're giving all the panels a sand and we're also using a bit of body filler on any dents and imperfections in the panels too. But if you don't have any of these, you can skip this step. The beauty about Raptor is it's super forgiving, which means it'll bond to pretty much every surface. That said though, with any paint, and particularly with Raptor, the trick is to make sure you spend the time preparing the surface you're painting. We're using these Raptor sanding pads with a bit of water-based degreaser, and we're actually wet sanding the panels, which will make everything really nice before we paint. If you have any surface rust on your vehicle, it's a good idea to still sand those sections back to bare metal, so you don't coat over any rust when you paint. Righto, that's us for day one. As you can see, the Luxie's almost ready to go. Tomorrow morning when we get in, we're just gonna give everything a clean with some more of that U-Pole water-based degreaser. Then we're gonna prime the surfaces that need it, and then now we can get into Raptor coating the vehicle, which I'm pretty excited for. We put the call out on social media looking for any questions you guys have about Raptor, and we got heaps of responses. So we're gonna take a little bit of time to answer a few of them now. And the first question is from Regan underscore Derry, and he asked, can you Raptor coat aluminium? You absolutely can, but you need to make sure that aluminium is coated in either etch primer or epoxy primer first. And also like painting any aluminium, you also need to make, make sure it's super clean before you start. So spend the time preparing the alloy properly before you paint it. And the second question is from 40449, and they asked, is it as hard to do as a proper paint job? Well, no, it's not. Raptor is actually much more forgiving to apply but the trick with Raptor is to make sure you spend the time preparing the surface you're painting properly. Just like with any paint job, 
Painting is in the prep work, so take the time, set it up properly, but when you actually come to painting, it's way more forgiving than normal paint. Sculling1994 asked, how many litres will be required for a single cab GU Ute and chassis? Well, to give you a comparison, on the Hilux, we used about three litres of tinnable Raptor on the cab. That said though, about a litre of that was used just on the inside of the doors because it was quite finicky. We used a fair bit of paint making sure we covered all the areas and then another two litres on the rest of the cab. We also used about two litres of Black Raptor on the tray and I used about two cans of two pack rattle can of Raptor on the bull bar. So all up about five litres in bottles and then two cans. That said though, obviously a GU has a much bigger cab than a Hilux and because you want to do the chassis as well, I'd estimate around eight to 10 litres would be perfect for doing what you need to do. Deck underscore Ma 28 asks, is it better coating a bull bar with a can or an air spray gun? Well, I've done the bull bar on this Hilux and on the Pony Hilux with a rattle can, and I used about three cans on each bull bar. So that gives you a rough indication of how much you need. That said though, you could probably do a whole bull bar with about a litre of Raptor and an air spray gun. So it's worth keeping that in mind. And Stein Millard asked, how many aerosol cans do you need to do a front and rear bar and the whole vehicle? Well, to give you a comparison, I used about three two-pack aerosol cans on the bull bar of this vehicle, and I also had a fourth one in reserve uh, just in case, which is also super handy if you need to do touch-ups down the line if you scratch your bar work. So I'd work with that, probably around three to four cans for a front and rear bar. If you're doing a whole vehicle though, I'd strongly suggest buying Raptor in the litre bottles, just because obviously you get much more Raptor and you can buy it in four litre kits. If you're painting a whole vehicle, obviously you're gonna use a fair bit of paint. So I'd suggest using the litre bottles rather than aerosol cans on the vehicle. Righto, it's day two, which means it's painting day. Before we get into it though, we need to mix up our Raptor, set up our air compressor, and we need to spray the whole vehicle in epoxy primer. It's real easy to mix Raptor, and if you buy a kit, it will come with everything you need to mix it correctly. You can also get either the Schutz spray gun or the Very Nozzle spray gun, which is the one we're using when you buy the paint. The main difference between the Schutz spray gun and the Very Nozzle application gun is that with the Very Nozzle gun, you can make fine tuning adjustments to change the texture of the Raptor depending on what you're coating whereas the Schutz spray gun is better for just one texture of Raptor. Add one part hardener to three parts of Raptor, then add 10% tin. So for example, one litre of Raptor, you'd add 300 mil of hardener and 100 mil of tin. Then give it a good proper shake up. Any two pack color can be mixed with Raptor. Jack has chosen this paint, which is a factory 2015 Toyota Hilux gunmetal gray. You can get it mixed up at your local auto parts store. If you have the right air compressor, the next steps are the same no matter what you're painting. This is the one we're using, which is your basic compressor you can get at any auto store. Look for one that's a minimum 1.5 kilowatt or two horsepower or more that can maintain around 60 PSI. Set the pressure outlet on the tank to between 60 to 80 PSI. You can also fiddle with this depending on what works best for you. Once you've done that, attach either the Schutz or Very Nozzle spray gun to the airline, then attach your bottle of Raptor to the gun and you're good to go. Righto, we're almost ready to Raptor coat this Luxie, but before we do, we're just gonna give the entire cab a coating in this Raptor epoxy. You can get Raptor epoxy at your local Raptor dealer or online. We've dialed in the spray gun on a test panel first, so she's good to go. But as I said before, because Raptor is so forgiving, it's really easy to apply. So now comes the fun bit, it's time to paint this Luxie. There are a stack of different ways to apply Raptor, depending on the job. We're using a very nozzle spray gun to apply the Raptor. We've just adjusted the pressure and the nozzle on the gun to give us a finer texture on the paint. This is ideal for vehicle panels as it gives you a smoother matte finish that looks as tough as nails. Depending on where you hold the spray gun can determine the texture of the paint too, but because you can adjust the finish of the Raptor from a coarse texture like this to a smooth one like this, you can really set it up to whichever style you want. While the boys are getting stuck into the tray, I'm just getting ready to uh, Raptor coat the bull bar. Yesterday, I went over it with a Raptor sanding pad and uh, cleaned it up. And today I've just given it a quick clean and masked up some areas as well. Now I'm gonna go over it with some of this two pack epoxy primer. Once I've done that, then I'm gonna go over it with one of these two pack Raptor aerosol cans. Two of these should do the bar, so uh, ready to get stuck in. 
I did Graham's bar work with one of these and I reckon it came up really nicely. If you're doing bar work with Raptor, you want it to be thicker so it's more resistant to scratches. But the trick is to apply lots of light coats rather than one thick coat so it builds up on itself. So take your time. Righto, so we got all the masking off and I reckon the cab is looking awesome. We're going to leave that to cure but while it's doing that we can start to fit all the accessories back onto the vehicle. How sick does that look? We've completely transformed this Luxie and given it a new lease on life. It just goes to show how cheap and easily you can transform your vehicle. And I reckon this new paint job could be the difference between reselling the vehicle for around 8 grand with the old paint or even up to 11 grand with the new paint, which is huge when you consider the fact that we've invested about 900 bucks worth of Raptor. It's gone from a tired old vehicle with fading clear coat and mismatched panels and it's turned into an absolute beast and I reckon Jack is going to be absolutely stoked. Righto, everything's back together but I just wanted to show you something because I reckon one of the best things about Raptor is the fact that if you do manage to scratch it out bush, it's actually super easy to touch up and you won't even notice that there were scratches there in the first place. And to demonstrate that, I'm actually going to take a little bit of Raptor off the bull bar and then I'm going to use one of those two-pack aerosol cans to cover it up again and you won't even know that I took Raptor off. To touch things up with Raptor, start by sanding the surrounding area to get things nice and even. Then, give it a clean with some water-based degreaser like this. After that, make sure you mask up a fair bit around what you're touching up as you'll need to spray the aerosol can from about 30 centimeters away to get the best coating. Once that's done, give it a coat in Adhesion Promoter. If you're doing a large section, it'd be worth using some epoxy primer before you wrap the two. But for small touch-ups like this, you won't need to. See what I mean? You can't even tell that I just scuffed that up, and that took me about 10 minutes to do. How good's that? There you go, that's how easy it is to coat your four-wheel drive in Raptor. Get a few mates around and give your four-wheel drive a little bit of a birthday that'll make it look as tough as nails. For more info, go to raptordiy.com.au.